All right, well, we keep telling you about spending, and sometimes it's kind of the gift that keeps giving. Now we're learning that that $787 billion economic stimulus package last year, well, it turned out to be a little bit more than that, and it will likely be a lot more than that, about $75 billion more than that. The Congressional Budget Office is saying that a lot of this it comes back to a lot of Medicare, Medicaid-related expenses uh, and added burdens for state and local governments. Suffice it to say that what had been a $787 billion rescue is turning out to be more like an $850 billion or so rescue. Um, the kind of thing that my next uh, guest says uh, happens all the time in Washington. Former Florida House Speaker Marco Rubio joining right now. He's running for Senate. Um, Marco, good to have you back. Thanks for coming. Good to be back. Thanks for having me. I'm not meaning to hit your broadside with this, but what do you think of this? About the new numbers? Yes. That, that just came out today? I think we've been unfair to Barack Obama and Charlie Crist and people that supported the stimulus. It wasn't 700 and some odd billion. It was over 800 billion, over $860 billion that my children and their generation will work their entire lives to have to pay off. And um, that's, it's, quite frankly, it's tragic. I don't think any generation of Americans has ever done to the next what this generation of American leadership did almost a year ago and next month. Um, it didn't start with these guys, right? The, the prior administration was spending pretty well. No, of course not. Right? So, so you just have a thing. I you, think both parties are guilty. Indeed, and you said and campaigned and, and said as much. But, but uh, here's the thing, though. Uh, not that economists are the Bible, because trust me, I've covered them for a quarter century, and rarely do they consistently get anything right. But more than 60 of them recently surveyed uh, in the Wall Street Journal, Marco, said that had it not been for stimulus, we would be in a lot deeper doo-doo than we are. Do you buy that? Well, that's not the question, though. That's not the issue. The issue is not a choice between doing the stimulus and doing nothing. The issue is what should we have done instead of the stimulus, like across the board tax cuts, like a serious effort to limit the growth of government going forward so that not just the American innovator, but people all over the world would understand that this government is serious about getting control of this uh, runaway deficit spending that we have in this country that everyone knows is going to have to be paid back with almost confiscatory tax rates down the road. And, and, and that's where the faults choice has always been given to the American people. The choice wasn't between the stimulus or nothing. The choice was between this package called stimulus and real stimulus, something that would have once again gotten the job creators in America, who, by the way, is not the president, is not U.S. senators, it's not congressmen, it's, it's everyday people who take their money and risk it opening up a new business or expanding an existing one, getting those people going again. This package didn't do that, and now we're still stuck with the bill. You know, when you used to say this kind of stuff and you were 30, 40 points behind Charlie Crist, um, people used to say, oh, that's, he speaks well, he's got some very good points of view. Now all of a sudden you're in the lead. And post the Scott Brown phenomenon, uh, it, it appears to be a tidal wave and you might be the next guy on it. Um, what do you think of that? It's not about me, I can tell you that. I mean, it's about this message. It's about a growing number of Americans. Well, what's the message? Who what is that your message, that's... Marco? The message is that limited governments made America the most prosperous, the freest nation in all of human history. And now we're being told we have to abandon that and somehow embrace what the rest of the world is doing, particularly these other industrialized nations in Western Europe and beyond. Why would we ever agree to abandon the things that have made America great? And that's what we're being told in Washington. As I said early on, you know, the Republicans are somewhat guilty of that in years past, but we've never seen 12 months like the last 12 months in terms of an effort to fundamentally redefine the role of government in America. Do you ever worry you're peaking too soon? When you're 30 points down, you don't have a luxury of worrying about peaking too soon. And, you know, I don't see this, this race. You know, I don't All see right. this race that way. I think this race is about ideas and message, and we're going to continue to talk about our message. Okay. And I think it'll carry us to victory because the majority of people Marco, want this message. Marco, thank in you Washington. very much. Dave Ramsey, next. Thanks.